Conference 2023 Championship. Game two from Joe Miller Field in Lake Charles. Number seven, 423 average, eight extra base hits, only eight strikeouts. Now this is lifted to right. She pops out and she's the flying up for the Huskies under longtime head coach Mary Ellen Hall. Ivy Garcia, Avery, 17 steals. It's a very speedy top of the order. That's it right back to the circle. High throw and she gets back on the bag. Close play and against Sam being a really good matchup. One of the best hitters in the conference against the best pitcher according to 23 strikeouts and 29 and two thirds innings and it's lined right to third. And a nice play over at the third base bag by Maria Southland Conference selections. It's a really good top of the order. Cam Goodman, Maria. Did. And I think Rothman's, you know, coach talked about how much of a great addition she's been to the team. Way to walk the Southeastern hitters. And that's a call, third strike, really good. First confrontation. A strike. Maria Dettelier stands in, first pitch swinging into shallow right. And coming on to make the catch in shallow right. The off season for her made a big difference for her in, in these results that she's got. It. And on the hands popped up, shallow center field and the catch made by Childs. A really good bottom of the first. Texas, place that you're pretty familiar with. Rick Freeman has things cooking as that is hit high in the air, deep and gone! Need Hagler a solo shot. And the number seven seeded Huskies jump in front. Absolutely tagged this pitch. Got a hold of this pitch from Dubois. The fourth home run of the season for Casey in the bottom of the first inning. Gave AM Corpus Christi a 2 0 lead that's lifted into shallow center fields. And right at student athletes on this team. She's from Pasadena, Texas, just down the road from HBU. Biomechanical engineering. There's a base hit just over the bag at third base. And she's on first. Well, whoever carried from Kingwood, just north of Houston, Kingwood Park High School. Chop to short. Make that the third baseman to Tillier across the diamond for the out. Advancing the second goes. Looks like she took a little bit off of that pitch compared to her previous ones. Eastern 44 wins this year, a school record. Throw back to second and she's out. Heck of a throw to Casey Hagler. And now Lexi Johnson. The cleanup batter will begin in the conference as well. She chases that one up and in and she's down on strikes. And that's a tough pitch to handle. And I think we're Ronnie. 12, already a school record for single season victories. Lions chopped to third. Low throw, picked out for the out. Audrey. There she's bunting, it's foul. Not a bad idea. Third, the third baseman, uh, Savage, was playing back. Late swing there, she goes down on strikes. This was a really good at bat that did not end. Never know that we had a little delay to the start of the games today because they, both pitchers have come out. Up the middle. And hustling to second, there will be a throw from the double and 16 walks. Chases that one, but it gets away. Kralchuk with a chance to show the arm again, and that one's not in time. Sarah Blanchard, the junior, into the game for her 31st appearance this season, and Chase, who's been excellent. The junior out of De La Salle High School, and she gets the swing and the miss here. And he mentioned, too, she's going to work the plate east to west without anticipating the base runner moving. And a good eye, Drake takes first. Good speed at first now for- Certainly playing like they're happy to be here. Lifted to left, playable as the wind carried that one. Nice play out there by Kaylin Watson. Good way in game one, a 
Corpus Christi win over Lamar, three to two. First pitch swinging, popped up, long run, nice play. A.B. Garcia running into the wall. Scrimmage against her teammates with her demeanor in the circle. I think this is just... Later tonight, as it's popped up, on the infield. Casey Hagen, we based off how well she's been pitching as of late. That's lifted to left. A.B. Garcia makes the catch, smile on her face, and that summarizes the feelings in the... Rip that home run to... This one is sliced right to the first baseman. Lexi Johnson makes the catch and foul ground for the first out. And she's, uh, she went to Oak Ridge High School. They've got a very competitive softball. Lined a base hit to the opposite field. Good approach from Sidlick. J.C. Roberts, single to look, fell one run short. That's hit to the right side, kept on the infield. Nice play, she is out. Excellence in the circle for Ronnie Groffman. Swing and a miss, good pitching. And the side is retired. Brewing in the bottom of the fourth. Huskies lead the Lions one to nothing. It's bunted, picked up quickly. The throw to first in time. They get Cam Goodman. The finals for the student athletes for last week, or actually they're this week, I beg your pardon, is that hits the batter. First base runner here. You mention it, she put the time in in the off season. Yeah. Right back to the circle, misplayed. Throw to first, in time. Another fine play over a third. To many others, someone I looked to have a great tournament as well. Play out in. Swing and a miss, ends the inning. Excellence from Ronnie Groffman. she strikes. One run, three hits. The difference in this game, a solo home run at Nichols. One run in six innings. Nichols is the three seed as a swing and a miss. So in the last two weekends, Ronnie Groffman has confidence right from the beginning. Good off speed pitch. And Martin's down on strikes. That's back to back strikeouts from Sarah Blanchard. Haley Savage, third baseman, the defense she has played. There's another strikeout. What an inning there. In the circle, and that dunk with Shea Sloan. First pitch swinging, popped up into left. A.B. Garcia broke back, now she comes on to make the catch. One pitch up, one out. Lefted to left, hit well. It is back, it is gone! Southeastern has tied it up. Audrey Greeley to the opposite field. Extension and drives it to the opposite fill off of the scoreboard. For another that are hitting over 300. Up and in, it hit her. 2-2 pitch runs in on Rayner. She'll take first. First, if they think she may lay down a bunt here or maybe a hit and run, play again. Middle infield's playing back. Bounce to third. Not in time, too much speed. Nearly another fine play from Haley Savage. This is where they're talking about applying. That one gets away momentarily. The throw to third, not in time. Opportunistic base running. That's in the dirt, there's a walk to load the bases. Double steal followed by a ball the game for her 27th appearance of the season. And this is a student athlete. That High school. Hmm. Looking to get the out at home plate. Ripped, caught it third, she'll step on third for a double play. Another fine play from Haley Savage. The line faced in two and two thirds innings. For her, she finding them herself, but she said Avery Drake is finding those on her own. And here she is, striking out on a very close pitch at the knees. A call defensively be the highlight for Houston. It's bounced back to the circle. Blanchard has it, throws to first. Nice fielding of her position. And that's two quick outs. Get the home run in the second. She lined out her second time at Nice in the first game. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout. Dominance out of the bullpen from Sarah Blanchard.
seven strikeouts and bought for her 22nd appearance of the season. A coach says she's a workhorse for the team. She picked that easily. Alexi Johnson struck out twice. Lee eight, an RBI single from Kralchik. And that's back up the middle. Three straight hits for the Lions. Johnson delivers. The throw is up the line, but she takes second. Two and two the count. Did she go? They appeal. Bunt back towards the circle. The squeeze is executed. Nobody out. Perfect bunt. And that makes it 3-1 and no one second base on this excellent bunt. A lot of Greeley. things, a lot of things going on here. I mean, there's one out, it's a perfect time to squeeze, but you have a left-handed hitter up to the plate, and then nobody's covering second. Hit hard and through a base hit for Rayner. Johnson scores. Greeley held it third. And the runs coming across for Southeastern. A three-run sixth inning. Watson will step in for the third time today. The Rayner jersey behind home plate. Line drive into right field. Another hit. The Lions pouring it on here in the sixth. To the opposite field from Watson, Greeley. I wonder if Rayner the exit velo was up in the 70s on this one. We talked about that earlier. And she's cruising. Hey, Coach, she's thinking from Clear Lake High School in Houston. And I think they're throwing everything they can. Bounce to the right side, kept on the infield, and there's the second out. Watson scores from You really have to slow down some of your thoughts at the plate. Really get up. She goes down on strikes. The inning is Oklahoma below UCLA, Alabama. They're right there in that top 25. So look the base. Otherwise, she's had a phenomenal day behind the plate. This game, they have the ace in reserve for tomorrow. First team all Southland Conference selection. He comes back tomorrow. Assuming Houston Christian is Eastern State following this one. Line drive caught at first. Nice play, ranging far. And then in game two at 1.30 tomorrow, game two win. Bounce to third. Until Gay across the diamond. Yeah, they trailed into the fifth inning. They tied it up, and then after the rain delay, he deserved come from behind victory for Southeastern, but really impressed the Western States. For Shea Sloan and our entire crew, Matt Peterson saying so long for now. The triple header.